Hi everyone, welcome back again to Spiritual Growth Tarot. I'm Denise, and today I'm going to read on the future of the Supreme Court. Um, Biden announced in April that uh, he was, I think he was creating a commission, I believe, to, uh, to study whether or not to change, to make any changes to, uh, you know, to SCOTUS. So, you know, would he would he add a couple? Would he remove, or will a couple be leaving? <laughs> uh, you know, like Beer Kavanaugh, that'd be great, and uh, Amy Culty Barrett, that'd be great if she left too. Uh, but anyway, I thought I would do a reading. I'm I'm not sure if I'll do um to think about if I'll do, whether or not I'll do a um, a grand tableau. It might warrant that, and especially looking over a larger frame time, but. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So bear with me. I'm going to drop the camera down and draw all those cards. I promise to time stamp, stamp it so that you can forward ahead. And um, anyway, let's get started. <laughs> okay, so I am using this to stand up and down to do this. <laughs> I have the camera up so darn high or the tripod. I'm using this Lenamon deck, uh, it, because the images are so nice and, uh, you know, big, and I think from this distance it'll help. But if you're interested, it's on Etsy, and it does come with an add-on deck if you get that separate. Uh, it's really nice. I, I love this deck. Okay, so I decided to use the Lenamon because uh, it, it's more of a situational deck. Uh, rather than a relational system the way the Kipper is. And I decided to uh, assign, there's there's only two people cards in the deck. Unless you look at the snake as being like, you know, the other woman. <laughs> but that won't apply with this, you know, reading for SCOTUS. So anyway, I'm assigning the man in the deck to be Brett Kavanaugh, Mr. Beer Kavanaugh and the woman to be Amy Culty Barrett. So I, again, my question is, as I always shuffle putting the question into the cards, aligning with my guides and guardian angels because I only want the truth. And I want to know how will the Supreme Court of these United States change if any, is there, will there be any change between now, which is June 15th, 2021, and I'm going to take it out to the end of 2024. Will it expand? Will some justices leave? What will be the results of the commission to study possible changes? And I've, I've already uh, completed a lot of, well, I've completed karmic readings on all of the justices, so um, there will be clues in those videos as well. And they're in a playlist. It's, um, I think it's titled, oh uh, goodness, SCOTUS's Karma and Future, I think. All right, and of course I will timestamp this so you'll know once I get the cards laid out, you can hop ahead. If you're watching now going, I don't want to wait for all this. Okay, so now I'm going to go quiet while I draw the cards because how they land and what house position tells, tells the, uh, the, the story of how it'll go. So how will the Supreme Court of these United States change between now and the end of 2024? Pardon my sweater. It's a it's a rainy day. <laughs> I get a whole bunch of rain. I love it. Okay.
So right off the bat, there's, I would think, the, our homeland and the burden. Also the self-responsibility that needs to come through. Anyway, let me get these laid out before I start diving in. But the four corners make a huge... Well, they frame in, so the, I'll, I'll talk to you as I'm laying this out because it'll, it'll help understand where I'm coming from. We'll save some time later. So I'm going to start with the four corners. And the, they will tell the frame. The, it will, the cards around the four, the four corners and the cards around the corner cards <laughs> will frame in the, uh, the, the meaning. You know, just like when you do a crossword puzzle and you have to frame everything in first. Well, you don't have to, but th anyway, that's, that's how I read. And then as I'm drawn to certain cards which cover the topics I'm looking for, I'll, I'll read. Like, for instance, here's this, the scythe which can have to do with danger, but it can also have to do with decisions. I would, I would read these nine cards around that center card to tell the... Uh, you know, to get all the information. That's interesting there. Okay, let's keep going. Make sure everything fits in here. I think I'll move this row up a little. Oh, and if you guys, if anybody is a Lunamon reader out there, I found this cloth on um, Etsy. It's a gal... Oh, I can't really want to say if her name's Chris or something like that. Christine, I could be totally wrong, though. But uh, the name of the shop, I think, is Mystical, something Mystical 66. Uh, although the only downside, I would say, is that she currently, maybe she'll change someday, she sprays Nog Champa on everything, and it's disgusting to me. So you have to ask to get one that's not sprayed. But then you're still going to get some scent because I think it's just all over her place. Um, and cool thing is, you can wash it. I washed it out. You can wash it and you can iron this thing. You know, don't put it on high and definitely do it while it's while it's wet and you'll get the steamy, you know, thing. But you can wash it. <laughs> it's really, really sturdy. It's like a double backing, you know, under here. And there's another layer. So anyway. Four corners. I start here. So the the heart is all about you know what do we care about? It's the heart of our government, um, which the Supreme Court of the United States really does play a huge role. You can see it right here. The heart, our the, our government is right here. The heart of our government, and its choices that it makes. And this is Brett Kavanaugh. Remember, I said the man would be Brett Kavanaugh and the woman would be Amy Colty Barrett. She's up here. Interesting. So, okay. So the heart of our government, the rules and regulations, the, the um, tower card here talks about the rules and regulations within the institution of whatever you're reading on and this is the institution of our government. I have to remember to speak up. The camera's like a foot above my head. <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys have to turn the volume all the way up. I'm normally like probably really loud and you guys turn it down but this time I'll remember to speak up. So anyway, the heart of our government, what the people care about what the White House cares about, you know, this would be the Biden administration and the burden of the Biden administration and the responsibility of the Biden administration. But what, so what, what we care about, um, this is often a spring and summertime uh, card. So as far as timing goes, yeah, we're right here at the beginning. This is just, you know, what I intended to know from now into the end of 2024. What I see is that there's going to be some choices made. This is the Crossroads card. It has to do with decisions and turning points. 
you know, you're, you're here and you're like, okay, which way, whoops, which way do I go? Well, remember, this is Brett Beer Kavanaugh, and here he is, the man baby, right? The immature man baby. And so what's around him tells me that there's, now he's headed in this direction, looking at choices, and he does have some control within that institution because he's above. It's not the other way around. He's above. But what's hanging above him, I'll just go ahead and dive into him right now because here's the nine cards. There's the box spread right on top of him, just like I was talking about before, the way I will read. With, with the, uh, the bear hanging over him, now he's in... <laughs> He has shown up in the house of the garden, which is about um, our society. It's, it's about social media. It's all about um, his interaction with the world, uh, with, you know, within his job and within, the, within society. He does have some control, even though he's a man baby. And he is blocked. He's headed kind of off the, the reading that way while he's looking. He's actually, he's looking at decisions within, because it's in the decision card is within uh, the uh, institution of SCOTUS. So he's looking at decisions. Uh, this could be. This, this could be the law, the, the law of the Constitution. This could also be what he's hiding. And we know that he's been a treacherous bully, an abusive bully, whip to bear, abusive bully, abusive bully. And his communication is not to be trusted. Birds, communication snake, untrustworthy, things that bite, complications, detours, toxins. So that's hanging over him. He's not to be trusted and other people don't trust him. Communications that could affect him betray, snake betray, him and his uh, new obstacles in the future. So as far as timing goes, you know, if we're looking at like one year, two year, three year, something like that, I would say this is, this could be this year. And this is the bird's card which has to do with his communications with the peacefulness of the institution and his uh, he has some obstacles with some woman I don't know if this would be Amy Culty Barrett because uh, you know the institution of SCOTUS landed in her house and she's up here in the, the House of Flowers bouquet, which has to do with hmm, sometimes inv invitations, sometimes, um, sometimes offers. That's really interesting. Oftentimes it's gifts as well. Okay, so let me keep going. I see something there, but I uh, some communications. Where's where's lilies? Let's see. Where are the up here in the house of tree? So long time security and peace, and maybe the the karma of Scotus itself. Well, the branches of the government that it affects, 
I, there's going to be talking about, there will be talks about that, there's going to be communications, and then here we are with the tree, in the house of sun, something will be revealed, and sun is over here in the house of burdens, guilt, responsibilities, faith. So I'll dive into that further, but what's going on with Brett? There are powerful forces hanging over him that he doesn't have any control over. And this could be some type of a betrayal. And it could be information, information that comes out about gambling in the past. Because if we read this line moving forward, I'm just going to stick with him for a little bit since we're on this topic. Or I'm on this topic. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you guys are with me. Anyway, he may be at a crossroads in his life as to his authority uh, in the Lindemann Towers. Uh, it has to do with a person's personal authority and him trying to put himself above and all the secrets that he has about being a dangerous, dangerous, abusive predator in the past. I definitely believe um, the doctor, the professor, uh, oh my goodness, I can't remember her name now. Oh, I'm sure you guys will tell me. My, my brain sometimes doesn't hold information like that when I, when I open up to, to this, uh, to open up to guidance. Um, but anyway, oh, Blasey Ford, that's her name. I can't remember her first name though. The doctor, I'm, I just think of doctor, Dr. Blasey Ford. I definitely believe her, and he, uh, you know, this is him, the dangerous abuser up here, that has, that the secret, the secret, like, undercover womanizer, undercover womanizer, who would bully his way to get what he wants because he's a little man baby. But moving forward, and he had gambling debts, too. Somebody paid off $200,000 in gambling debts uh, before. He, he, well, we don't know if they're gambling debts, but the cards are telling me gambling here. But what we do know is that somebody paid off a $192,000 loan before uh, he put in his papers for, uh, before he filed his papers to be on the uh, SCOTUS. So I think all of that might come out uh, because here's here's the darkness of the, the loss. Here's, mice is about stealing. This, this would be him in his immaturity. Something new can come out, can be revealed because the light side of the clouds is, is facing this way. And it would be that something can be revealed about that possible gambling debt, or if it's not gambling, it would be um, his opportunity to be on, you know, SCOTUS, to be on the bench, a part of the bench, and um, to be a justice, Supreme Court justice. And it's moving towards... So mice shows mice shows that he actually kind of stole the position. He and Amy Coney Barrett, man, they were shoved in there, and I think there's a, a couple hundred uh, other judges that were shoved into their roles. Republican judges shoved into their roles by Mitch McConnell and his cadre. Oh uh, goodness, so. He took the choice to take the opportunity before he was blocked in his immature ways, but this was a great opportunity for him and he took it and ran. And he has foreign, I think he has some foreign connections because the ship is of the foreign card and it's in the house of ring, which is commitments. So who paid that debt off? Anyway, this is his future right here. 
something being revealed about foreign, possibly foreign debt, foreign connections, and something will create a painful loss and ending for him in the future as to his loyalty, as to who, who is loyal to him. The dog being in the letter house can be some documents that come out because that's what will be revealed. Okay, so now I need to go back to the four corners that I talked about before. But because he, you know, he, he came here within this vicinity of these four cards here, so I had to do that. Now, so, so what we care about within within the security and safety of, um, you know, the foundation of America, the body and soul of America. I'm speaking to the house card right now. Uh, it's, it's our homeland. It's like our family. It's where we're safe and secure. Well, it's under burden. So the house being in the writer house, the, the, the house card being in the house of writer, has to do with our movement, where we're going, and our, our opportunities, the house of clover has to do with our opportunities, are under the burden of all of this. It's under the burden of this bullying to get into a certain position. So we're seeing the story here of how, you know, how we got to where we are. Like how the hell did this creep who likes beer and cried his way through his confirmation hearing and went into emotional reaction and rage in his confirmation hearing. How does anybody that emotionally unstable make it to uh, the, you know, to be a justice on the Supreme Court bench. How does that happen? Well, it happened by Mitch McConnell, it happened by the Republicans, the GOP, GQP, and, and that's the burden we're under right now. And then we have the stars, which has this, you know, in the ship house, which has this foreign connection. So where did the money come from for all of this to happen? Jumping over here to this corner, because this is framing in the whole story, remember? It's like, what do we really care about and what has happened, which I've just extensively spoken about. And then here we have Amy Coney Barrett and her abuse. Well, her abuse might wind up ending in a very painful way because the the bo the bouquet can be that can be really challenging uh, when it comes to revealing an offer that she had in the past. So again, what money got her money right here? Sn money in the house of snake. The fish is the money card in the house of snake. What money came from overseas? This can be an overseas card as well, but what dark with the clouds, you know, like what, what was hidden about foreign money uh, that, that maybe put her in there as well. So again, with all this, you know, Heritage Foundation, Federalist Society, Opus Dei, Koch Brothers, Mercers, Robert and Rebecca Mercer. I'm going to read on them again, too. I think I am. I did, I did before. I think I'll do it again. Uh, what gifts did she receive to get into her position? And with the sun card here, it's all going to be revealed. In the House of Cross, the guilt will be revealed. So that's, <laughs> I think by the end of 2024, we are going to be seeing everything. Because this card reveals and it's, it shows everything that has happened. It shines light 
on all these cards around it. And so we're going to see who was loyal, and there's going to be documents. It's going to show secrets because you know, the coffin card in the house of book has to do with ending, ending the secrets. And then to have the moon in the, the moon and the sun right here together, that's also going to show the creative. It's going to, the public, the public will know how they created, how they, uh, What's, what's the word when you like have creative liberation or oh, what's oh, my goodness it, it's like what they do when they launder money you know they create a second set of books you might even have a third set of books and here's one for the IRS and here's another one for what really happened and you know even maybe a third set of books for how something happened in another way because when it comes to money laundering it's washed twice so creative finance, that's the word I was trying to. So we might see, we might finally see creative finance and, and that, that of course, you know, was the, the goal. Okay, so anyway, now I'm gonna focus on Amy Coney Barrett, Amy Culty Barrett, I should say. Let it scooch over to this side. I, I I spoke about it a little bit already. So what gifts did she receive so that she would be loyal? Because gifts in the House of Dog has to do with loyalty. I, and But with her, she's up here in more of a controlling position. Brett Kavanaugh has more dangerous, problematic cards around him. And what's under her, now, so the obstacle, the, here, here's the obstacle to SCOTUS, and it's in the house of change. So even though we may know what happened, yeah, he's much more blocked. He's in a much more dangerous position than she is. But even though she came from like, what was it, Children of Praise or whatever, she came from a cult, she has more ability to block things. She is going to be able to block changes because maybe she's going to be loyal to the people who put her in power. She's going to be much more of a problem. But it's still going to all come out. We're, all, we're, we're going to see, we're going to know. She's moving off the, um, here's another way to look at it, you know, where the people cards land makes a huge difference. Like, um, imagine you're doing a grand tableau for, or, or if I'm doing one for you for like the next nine months of your life, because we have, you know, like nine, nine rows, or it could be nine years. You could make, you know, each column could be one year. Well, if your card, well, let's, let's take hers for the time being. If you're a woman and you come here, let's say if your card ends up landing here, then I'm going to tell you that you're in control of everything, mostly, well, everything down here and everything here is more auspicious and everything back here is not. This would be inauspicious. You know, not good fortune, great fortune over here, depending on what the cards are. Well, when somebody comes down here, all of this is weighing down on them. So all of this, this widespread guilt, widespread guilt, uh, documents that, that, that show exactly, I think the loan documents are going to come out about him. Uh, and if, like, let's say, well, because of where he is, there's a lot weighing down on him. 
and the only thing he really has to look forward to is what's in this row and it's not good. The clouds, the ship can be changed but more like foreign and travel enterprise. The clouds in the coffin are not good at all. And the only thing he does really have any control over is talking about things, I suppose, and some choices. But because he's looking in this direction, he's going to be at a crossroads and all of these cards, even though they're his future, they're behind his back and he doesn't see he doesn't know all of this. He's blind to all of this. It's behind him and he can't see it coming yet. So he can't see the end of people being loyal to him coming. So that's interesting, you know, because it's all going to be revealed. Now with her, with, with Amy, Amy Culty Barrett, she is exiting the reading. And all of these cards are behind her back. Notice she's pointed in that direction. She's kind of looking down too, but but she's she's exiting the reading. So by the end of 2024, maybe something happens with her. Maybe she's blocked or she's blocking something with the stork. It could have to do with women's rights and Roe v. Wade. And that, that won't go well for her if that happens. And all of these cards are behind her back, so she doesn't, she doesn't see, you know, all of this. I'm old goals, old ways, documented precedents, laws. And, and money, or a lot of precedent, the, you know, precedence in law, precedence really matters. This could be the stand-in for the feminine as well. The abuse, all the abuse, the, you know, the, the uh, fish card can, besides money, can be a lot of abuse towards the feminine that's gone on forever. You know, I mean, the United States is... We're not that old of a nation, but it's gone on forever. So as far as whether or not new judges will be added, or minimized. Let me tune into that. So here would be expansion, but it would be complicated expansion. Obstacles, mountain in the house of change, Storcus changes, tells me that there might not be any changes. And that's especially reiterated because mice, which has to do with minimizing, is in the house of stars, and stars is about intention. So there's a lot of minimizing, which is an obstacle to change. What the hell does that mean? I just heard it, but I don't know what it really means. You guys might have to clue me in. <laughs> My goodness. There's a lot of intention into minimizing, oh, into minimizing change, and therefore that's the obstacle. Yeah, they don't want changes. They want to keep things the way they are. But let's see. What's wrong is the karma
Wow. Okay, this is a whole other puzzle to get through here. There's something wrong with... Like the public honor. Something... Well, there's something wrong with the honor. Yes, of course. There's something wrong with the honor of the this branch of our government that will be revealed. And it's... Change is really important. Now I see change here because, you know, it's landed in the house of yes. And then the card of yes is in the house of plenty. So this looks like a lot of change because something's wrong with the fundamental way that it works or has been working. Okay. So movement, movement that we care about is really important. That will create change. That, that will create change. Sorry, you guys have to remember to speak up. That will create change yeah, again, movement that's important. This could also, this moon card could also uh, be about uh, women's rights and, uh, you know, the, the separation between church and state that's really important. There should be no government entity whatsoever telling women what to do with their bodies. That's the important thing here. That's the most important thing that needs to change. And that, I think, is going to be revealed. There certainly could be a big battle about it because Scythe in the House of Bear. Bear is, again, control, safety. Um, Scythe can be something that's dangerous. It's like a dangerous, toxic intention to stop any kind of change and then gifts to keep the loyalty going but it could be that the optical by the by the end of the uh, by the end of 2024 it could be that the obstacles end or but it could also be that the obstacles no i just heard the obstacles will end and uh women's women's rights will be definitely out there being revealed and i think i think restored i don't i don't see any problem with roe v wade I see that it'll be revealed and there will be success on uh, in upholding Roe v. Wade. There's definitely going to be an end to loyalty to Brett Kavanaugh. So now let's look at knighting. So she's up here. This is Amy Culty Barrett. And she knights over here to her toxic intentions. She is toxic. She's a thief. She stole her position. She never should have accepted that invitation. If she had any bit of integrity, she wouldn't have accepted that position or that in, that invitation, invitation here. She would have not accepted it because it was what? How many days before the election? Ugh. And she sat she she was right there within the midst of a big covid you know storm literally yeah so she's toxic 
because she landed here, I can't see what knight's over here or what, you know, this, this is pretty much it. But this is, this, this is below her, so she does have some control over the change. It, but she will be seen as someone who's abused, but then, then again, because all these cards are behind her, it could be a really painful ending to her abusive ways for her. And she is exiting the reading, so we'll see how it goes for her in 2025. Or maybe by then she grows up and makes some changes. But I don't trust her, and I don't think she has any integrity because of the fact that she jumped in there before, an, right before an election. She should have said no. But she didn't care. She did it for the money. She jumped into the invitation, took the invitation because she wanted the money. And she had the money backers. But who knows? Now, you know what? Because, because this mountain card is below her, I don't see her changing. I don't see her changing. She's, she's like Melania, you know, she's a different kind of a hoe bag, but the, it's, they're both, it's both transactional. Money, the goal of transactional, and she, she doesn't care. She'll do it over and over and over again. Yeah, okay, so let's see. New commitments commitments to what? New commitments to choose new opportunities, but but you know we've got the snake card here. That's very complicated. Complicated relationships, complicated commitments that are immature. And then the, these um, interactions, the garden park card to me is, you know, one of the major keywords is just interactions. So interactions with the public, but in ways that are sneaky, the old ways, and where they want to obfuscate how they have literally stolen from the people. Um, I now I'm just kind of tuned into uh, what's his name, uh, you know the creep over Anita Hill, Clarence Thomas. Clarence Thomas. He's been, definitely been like a loyal dark money, connected to obviously foreign money here. That's, that will be revealed by the end of 2024. He might die before the end of 2024. And I don't know about his wife, Jenny, you know, who put up a lot of money to get people traveling to the insurrection, to the violent, dangerous insurrection, where they tried to steal, the, um, steal and block the, uh, the vote that was happening to confirm, thank God somebody got that box out of there and then the vote had already happened. You know, Capitol riot. Uh, so, let's see, what else? The stealing has been hidden from the public. That's hanging over the SCOTUS. I'm so grateful for Elena Kagan and Sonia Sotomayor. And I don't know about Roberts. I think he might be an okay guy. I forget. It's been so long since I did those readings. 
There was one guy, I can't remember his name, but there was one guy that I could tell, if I remember correctly, he just didn't care. He was just there for the paycheck. And then Clarence Thomas was dark, way dark. Brett Kavanaugh, dark. Amy Coney Barrett, dark. Um, I think Roberts was kind of okay. And I was just so grateful for Elena Kagan and Justice Sonia Sotomayor because they are sharp. They are really sharp. That, maybe that's what this is speaking to, is that there is some power to their sharpness in mitigating, uh, decreasing some of the obstacles. Because in this, in this, with this card here, with the book card being in the house of scythe, well, the house, the, scythe can be sharp and it can be tools. And this would be the tools of the law that's on the books. But it can also be secret, the secrets that are like pride open and we get to see it. See the secret of controlling um, complications and controlling uh, betrayal. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see, I don't I don't know if there's anything more. It's hard to tell. We're just going to have to <coughs> watch. I'm going to have to watch in the news. And you guys feel free to drop in anything in the comments that, <coughs> excuse me, that I may have missed. Or if it brings up, you know, we, we usually open a can of worms with this work and it can uh, bring up some questions. But I see key changes happening and things being revealed. Whether or not uh, Amy Coney Barrett can even block anything, these four cards here tell me that change is inevitable. And especially to women's rights, we're going to be okay there. Because I think people will just fight, 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 fight for that. I mean, what are we going to do? Go back to the Dark Ages? Like, give me a break. So, yeah, I feel like I don't, I don't have anything to offer more right here. Unless I were to do a separate reading to see like what power Elena Kagan has. And Justice Sonia Soda some more. Soda Soda Mayor. I, uh, if, you know, if there's some questions that come up in the future, but I, I think I'll just watch the news and I'm going to trust you guys to give me good questions as, uh, as the news brings out, uh, news. <laughs> but anyway, I think that's all I have for this right now. Okay. Thanks you guys. Bye.